Welcome to IFAS's Dialogues on Democracy. I'm Editorial and Communications Manager Adam Gallagher, and today I'm here with IFAS Haiti Chief of Party Alessandro Rossi. Alessandro is a seasoned elections professional, having previously worked for the UN's Electoral Assistance Division in Libya, and is a field electoral coordinator for the UN's Mission for Stabilization in Haiti, among other assignments. In recent years, IFAS has worked in a challenging environment in Haiti, particularly in the wake of Hurricane Matthew in 2016. Despite these conditions, on January 3rd of this year, Haiti's Electoral Council published the results of the 2016 presidential election after a two-year process that was delayed by the hurricane and allegations of fraud. Along the way, IFAS provided critical technical electoral assistance. Thanks for joining us today, Alessandra. Can you give us a broad overview of IFAS's recent work in Haiti and how programming was affected by Hurricane Matthew? Sure. IFAS has been uh, working in Haiti since uh, 2013, although the commitment with Haiti uh, uh, and uh, IFAS has started uh, a long time ago, actually in 1997. So uh, IFAS has been uh, constantly present with different approach in country since then. Um, the current, uh, the recent work in Haiti um, uh, has been focused in uh, um, improving the uh, capacity of the local uh, electoral management body, the Provisional Electoral Council, in uh, uh, better communicate with uh, uh, external uh, um, stakeholders, uh, uh, key electoral stakeholders such as political parties, civil society organization, particularly marginalized groups, um, uh, observation groups, and uh, the, the general population. So our approach has been to work closely with the EMB in order to enhance um, institutional uh, mechanisms such as a communication strategy. So the, um, the recent work has been focused in, uh, in creating a, a communication strategy, communication mechanism, but from a, in a more institutionalized point of view. And um, our, program, our program had different challenges in terms of uh, the, the political context, but also in terms of environmental uh, design. Disaster. And uh, um, the hurricane Matthew happened a few days before uh, the uh, first round of general elections. So the first uh, um, impact was the postponement of election for a few days, for a few weeks actually. And in order to assess the, uh, um, the, the, the damages and the infrastructure. But on the same time, our programming was to engage population on uh, are particularly affected by the hurricane in keep their interests high uh, on elections so enhancing a com communication campaign that not only focus on an, on the civic participation but also focus on turn into be a, um, a a campaign or how to deal with the natural disaster and so how do you think uh, the Haitian media's media's role has changed over time uh, in regard to the electoral process, particularly given the rise of social media and some of the negative effects we've seen in, in elections worldwide due to the proliferation of social media? I think that the role has changed uh, uh, dramatically uh, and in a positive way. We, uh, uh, I've, I've been uh, um, I've been witnessing the uh, electoral process in Haiti since 2005, and I've seen a lot of improvements. And one of those uh, um, is a um, is a media, and uh, I've seen a trend uh, that goes from toxic to more engaged. And why? Because uh, we as IFAS, just a little example, but there is an effort that take into account first the willing, then the, it may be a new generation of journalists, and third, a lot of, the, a lot of interest in working with journalists and uh, their, uh, how to, to, to educate them to the electoral process, but also to engage them in having a, a language that is less toxic, is more inclusive, is uh, uh, impartial 
And um, in particular, IFES has been working with journalists, more than 700 journalists has been uh, uh, trained on uh, role and responsibility of media in the electoral process since 2014. And uh, um, this was, uh, 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 we, we covered journalists from uh, uh, from all over the country, so we moved uh, along the country. We had also uh, training, bridge training uh, on media and elections with the young journalists. We engaged the um, the owners of um, radio stations or the resp or the director of different radio station of newspaper in having a better information. We try to convey space of communication with the regular space of communication with the CB and the journalists. So bottom line, I've seen that the um, we we are getting uh, fruits of what we invest and uh, i uh, i would like to see these uh, uh, efforts this work to be to be continued because it's worth it and uh, uh, media are a key actors to determine the credibility of the process so i would like to be them engaged more engaged uh, in in, in the process, not just as a recipient that uh, writes in bad news, but uh, he knows the impact or how the, the, their news or their language can become inflammatory, but also can determine the credibility of the, of the process if they, they play sure. fairly. Right, right. So you touched on this when you were kind of giving a broad overview of the IFAS Haiti program. But finally, I was just wondering if you could give us a little insight into IFAS's work to increase the institutional capacities of the newly established permanent council uh, in Haiti. The, um, over the course of the current program, we had to work with uh, five different electoral management body. And uh, we, this is the nature of the political uh, contest. But despite that, uh, we have been working with uh, with professional uh, that uh, and I make reference to the particular to the last one but is uh, it, it can be applied to even to the previous one professional that were um, aware of the uh, uh, of the responsibility the role that they were uh, carrying but the, the, with the, the last one the current one uh, we have done uh, a lot of uh, um, of work. Uh, together, in order to increase the institutional capacity of the of the EMB, how um, we are in a phase of a post. I, I I want to put this into the context. We are in a phase in which we are closing a, a an electoral cycle, and there is an opportunity to do an exercise what we call the post-election review, which we have started, where we collected the, the, the institution, collect the, uh, uh, the, the, the practices, and also make a critical analysis of what, what should be improved, right? And they, um, and this, it, it has been done with the efforts of increasing institutional capacity, how in areas that have not been uh, deeply uh, explored before, like uh, strengthening the institutional memory, preparing an endover uh, to the next CP, leaving like as an administration trace of uh, um, a reform efforts that is there. So the, the institutional, the, the, um, from our perspective, we have provided um, a level of exposure to uh, experiences in similar countries. We have pushed for peers to peers change. We facilitate a space in which the current CP can uh, see what what's going on into the region and is through our capacity to the uh, uh, the, uh, the uh, our experts that are working within the CP that this uh, uh, institutional capacity is increasing so hopefully uh, as soon as this 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 process will will uh, will be finished and it will be finished we have a, currently we have a legal election in it in direct election going on until the end of uh, uh, for the for the upcoming three months but once the mandate of this CP is will end it we will have a CP that is in a position that uh, 
is, is more credible than ever that because of his uh, institutional capacity, because of, uh, because of his professionalism. Well, great. Thanks for joining us today, Alessandra, and telling us about the important and, and challenging work in uh, Haiti that we're doing. And please, next time you come to Washington, join us again. Uh, thank you. Thank you for having me. And uh, it was a pleasure. And uh, I will come back. All right. <laughs> For more on how IFAS promotes democracy around the world, please visit www.ifas.org.